While her husband is away, a woman is terrorized by a sinister AI security system, blurring the lines between reality and her crumbling sanity. In a California home, a young girl is restless in bed. Suddenly, her closet door opens, emitting a menacing red light. Frightened, she flees from her room, clutching her favorite toy horse. Later, while playing outside, she notices the same red light emanating from her room. Curious, she returns inside to investigate. The security alarm detects movement, and and her mother's voice draws her to her room. However, as she approaches the closet, the voice morphs into something sinister, and she's sucked into the red light. Afterwards, the security system announces that everything is clear, seemingly satisfied. Some time later, Julia, a realtor, guides Ava and Miguel on a tour of the same house. She mentions that the entire house is already furnished, making it convenient for a seamless move from Mexico City. Julia informs them that the previous tenants ran off, and she wants to ensure that Ava and Miguel are genuinely interested in the property. Miguel assures her that they are prepared to move in immediately, but would like to revisit the second floor to finalize a decision. The realtor gives the couple their privacy, but secretly observes them through the security system. She learns Ava's concern for safety and feeling that the house is too spacious for just the two of them. In response, her husband assures that the neighborhood is safe and that they can start expanding their family right now. Aware of Ava's apprehensions, Julia later reveals that the house is equipped with Diablo controls, a cutting-edge security system that provides comprehensive control over every aspect. It integrates with their devices, allowing them to easily monitor their home. After the house tour, the realtor is securing the property when Diablo notifies her of motion detected on the second floor. Overwhelmed with fear, she runs out upon witnessing a strange sight upstairs. In multiple newspapers, the recent notorious actions of El Diablo, a serial killer from Mexico, has been making headlines for his heinous crimes. It's widely reported that he has left only one survivor in his wake. True to their word, the couple moved in immediately. While enjoying a relaxing bath, their time together is disrupted when Miguel's phone keeps receiving text messages. Seeing Ava's annoyance, he explains that he's expected at a client dinner tonight in Mexico. As Miguel packs, his wife protests being left alone in a new house. She announces accompanying him on his trip, but Miguel reminds her that leaving Mexico was for her safety. He reassures her that she's safe in California and should take this time to unwind. Ava agrees, and then reminds him about the family he wanted to start. Later, Miguel rushes down the stairs, worried about missing his flight. He tells his wife that Diablo Control will send a technician tomorrow to teach her the alarm system. Ava insists that she's safe and gives him a goodbye kiss. Later, Ava explores the house and discovers the little girl's favorite toy discarded in the bedroom closet. That night, while watching TV, she hears a thud outside. Anxious, she activates the alarm system, but realizes she doesn't know the passcode. Ava calls customer service for assistance, but the agents are busy so she gets ready for bed while waiting. Frustrated by the long wait, she cancels the call and contacts Miguel instead. She leaves him a message confiding her fear about spending her first night alone. Disturbingly, her call is being monitored by Diablo. The following day, she's awakened by an alarm at 6 a.m. and decides to start the day with a swim. Ava is startled by the sudden presence of Ray, the Diablo technician who explains that he tried to call but received no response. She instructs him to wait by the control panel while she dries off. At the front door, Ray guides Ava in setting up her passcode and syncs her phone with the rest of the system. The technician also suggests enabling advanced features like biometrics, but Ava decides to stick with the basic functionality. He returns her phone and explains that the system utilizes AI technology that will gradually learn her habits. Ray informs her that the system can control most of the house and will alert her to any detected motion. However, he reassures her that it's unnecessary as there's rarely any unusual activity in her neighborhood. That at night, Diablo automatically lowers the blinds and the lights. However, at 2.37 a.m., Ava is awakened by Diablo's warning, detecting an ominous presence in the hallway. She goes to investigate but finds nothing, and the system eventually declares the situation clear. The next morning, Ava ignores the 6 a.m. alarm. Later, Miguel calls her, explaining that he's been very busy. Ava reports that everything in the house has been going well, and she feels safe. She mentions that after their call, she plans to go for a job around the neighborhood. Absent-mindedly, she opens the door, triggering the alarm which catches the attention of their neighbor Nancy. As Ava leaves for her jog, she struggles with the alarm system. Frustrated, she leaves it disarmed and proceeds with her run. During her run, Ava receives an alert indicating motion at the front 
door, prompting her to cut it short. She discovers the door ajar and cautiously peeks inside, only to be startled by Nancy. The neighbor extends a welcome to the couple and suggests that Ava join the neighbor network. The community gossip page. Still wary of intruders, Ava politely excuses herself and goes inside. She proceeds to investigate the house, arming herself with a golf club after hearing a crash, but it was only a broken mug in the kitchen. Curious, she reviews the security footage and discovers that the mug fell on its own. Determined to find answers, Ava examines the footage and notices that her package had been delivered at 9.42, but the alarm was triggered at 9.48. Intrigued, she checks what happened at 9.48 and is startled to see a glitched image moving towards the door. Later, Ava receives an email invitation for Neighbor Network. There she comes across footage of a break-in at another house. Engrossed, she's startled when the doorbell rings, but it's only a flower delivery from Miguel. Unbeknownst to Ava, Diablo begins downloading additional videos that may disturb her. That night, she's bombarded with videos of trespassing in their neighborhood. When Miguel calls, she goes on a tirade about how unsafe the area is. Exasperated, Miguel tells her that sites like those only make people paranoid. This placates Ava, but she continues to watch more videos after their conversation ends. At 2 a.m., Ava is plagued by a nightmare that takes her back to a terrifying incident in their previous home. In the dream, she hears a loud thud and investigates its source, only to come face to face with El Diablo at her front door. The haunting memory triggers a panic attack, causing Ava to break down on the bathroom floor. The following morning, Ava reaches out to her therapist, urgently requesting an emergency session. She tries to de-stress with yoga, but the nightmare continues to linger in her thoughts. After a grocery run, she finally connects with Dr. Olivares. She reports her nightmare involving El Diablo, expressing her fears and anxieties. The therapist assures her that El Diablo isn't looking for her in California, and it's normal to have PTSD from such a harrowing experience. Ava confides that adjusting to a new place and being alone is overwhelming. She mentions feeling tormented by the alarm system and requests to resume medication. However, Dr. Olivares gently declines, emphasizing their efforts to move away from medication. Instead, the therapist advises Ava to focus on promoting her well-being through exercise, sufficient sleep, and a healthy diet. The doctor also advises being mindful of factors that can trigger hallucinations such as sleep deprivation, stress, and paranoia. Additionally, the therapist recommends avoiding caffeine and alcohol, as well as exposure to disturbing imagery. Following these guidelines should help prevent future episodes. Afterward, Ava thanks Olivares and hangs up as she inspects the toy horse. Before going to sleep, she leaves a message for Miguel, telling him about the welcome home dinner she's planning. Unbeknownst to her, Diablo is eavesdropping. When Miguel calls back later, the call is muted, and his voicemail regarding his extended work hours is erased. Meanwhile, in the kitchen, the glitch opens the fridge, but Ava remains unaware of it until the next morning. Since her groceries for the planned dinner are ruined, she's forced to buy more. That evening, when Miguel calls again, Ava's furious to hear that he's staying in Mexico for a couple more days. Disregarding the doctor's advice, she starts drinking excessively, spiraling into a drinking spree. After an unhinged rant and revelry, the scorned wife falls asleep on the couch. However, she jolts awake to an alert indicating motion on the third floor. The system now alerts her of motion on the second floor, and she sees someone outside surveying the area. Ava follows the person, and they unexpectedly run into each other again in the alley. It turns out to be Ray, so she reports about the intruder in her house, but the technician dismisses it as an error. He explains that there's a neighborhood-wide outage, and he'll return in the morning to reset her system. Satisfied, she climbs into bed but continues to have nightmares about El Diablo. She vividly remembers how the intruder advanced towards her with a knife but fled upon hearing Miguel's arrival, leaving her distressed. Ominously, Diablo intercepted Ava's nightmare and is analyzing it for its diabolical plans. The morning after, she wakes up as Ray arrives to reset the alarm system. The homeowner expresses her frustration, stating that the security system has been harassing her with false alerts and glitchy camera footage. In response, Ray explains that the previous tenants had a young girl, and occasionally her image may appear as artifacts due to the system's cache. Ray then clears the cache and resets the system, assuring Ava that everything should function properly now. Later, Ava receives yet another alert, only to find that the artifacting issue persists. Frustrated, she attempts to contact customer service, but the line is busy. She resorts to the neighbor network, asking if anyone is experiencing problems with Diablo control, but all she receives are responses praising the company. Despite her struggles, Ava tries exercise, but 
memories of El Diablo haunt her. Desperate, she rummages for her small Virgin Mary idol, but it got broken during the move. Instead, she purchases a figurine of Santa Muerte, the Mexican saint of death. That night, Ava discovers that Diablo malfunctions when she uses the microwave. Additionally, she notices artifacting occurring near the stairs. Intrigued, she decides to investigate. To her surprise, the camera footage captures a barely recognizable image of a little girl, who scurries away as soon as the microwave stops. Shortly after, a power outage happens, leaving Ava terrified to find the front door open. Afraid, she ascends the stairs and is confronted with a silhouette of a hooded figure, right before the power suddenly returns. Shaken, she creates an altar for Santa Muerte and prays to it, offering alcohol as part of the ritual. Unfortunately, her efforts prove futile as something continues to haunt her throughout the night. The following day, Ava wakes up to the usual 6 a.m. alarm from the system. She talks with Olivares and shares her hallucination from the previous night. She also confesses drinking alcohol, prompting the doctor to consider the possibility of reintroducing medication into her treatment and suggesting regular check-ins to monitor her progress. Ava agrees and ends the call. She then takes a bath and receives a message from Bob, a neighbor network member, regarding Diablo Control. Bob expresses his own concerns, stating that he feels like he's losing his sanity and invites Ava to discuss their issues. After her bath, Ava visits Bob. However, the man regrets reaching out to her. He reveals that he hasn't slept for days and is feeling delirious. When pressed, he confides that Diablo is tormenting him. Before retreating back into his home, Bob urges his neighbor to abandon the house and never return. On her way back, Ava encounters Nancy. During their conversation, the neighbor inquires about Ava and Miguel plans for starting a family, given the spaciousness of the house. She shares that they're discussing it, prompting Nancy to mention that the previous tenants of the house had also planned to expand their family before mysteriously disappearing. She reveals that nobody knows what happened to them, leaving Ava unsettled by the revelation. Later, while using her laptop, the lone woman hears sirens and horns blaring, and is notified on neighbor network that Bob's house has caught fire. After an offering to Santa Muerte, Ava goes to sleep, but she's plagued by a terrifying nightmare induced by Diablo. The AI sequences a physical El Diablo that pulls off her blanket in sync with her nightmare, preventing her from having proper sleep. The following day, Ava begins to unravel, telling Olivares about her meeting with Bob and his subsequent death. She blames the Diablo system, claiming that it has a girl trapped inside and is responsible for the unsettling events she's been experiencing. Although it's the truth, her words sound like the ramblings of someone with a mental disorder. Concerned, the doctor prescribes medication and suggests disabling the alarm system, but her patient confesses that she doesn't know how. Worried, Ava requests to relay her words to Miguel in case anything happens. Confident, Olivares assures her that she's safe, but her reassuring smile is suddenly replaced by El Diablo, causing the troubled woman to lash out. While Ava tries to contact a pharmacist for her prescription, she receives a threatening video from El Diablo on the neighbor network. Just then, Miguel calls with exciting news that he's coming home tomorrow and that El Diablo was killed in a police shootout. Incredulous, Ava hangs up on him to prove him wrong, but she can no longer find El Diablo's message. Upon returning home that evening, Ava notices that the candles of Santa Muerte have been extinguished. She rushes to revive her altar, disregarding the alarm system and prioritizing it over her medication. After taking her medication while lighting the candles, Ava whispers that if religion, drugs, and alcohol can't save her, nothing can. The constant motion detection alerts as it morphs into a deep, menacing male voice. Defiant, Ava declares that this is her house and smashes the control panel. Shortly after, she witnesses the apparition of El Diablo materializing upstairs. Afraid, she tries to escape, but all the doors are locked. She's forced to fight, grabbing a knife while reciting a prayer to Santa Muerte. Ava cowers in a corner as El Diablo approaches. Remembering that the microwave disrupts Diablo's functions, she throws her knife inside and activates it. The attacker becomes frozen, allowing her to use use his discarded knife to futilely stab at the air. Seeing her futile efforts, Ava rushes upstairs to disable Diablo's power source. Before long, the microwave short circuits, freeing El Diablo. It materializes next to Ava, but she manages to unplug
unplug the power supply just in time. Somewhat relieved, Ava restores the Santa Muerte altar and takes two candles with her upstairs. However, Diablo has a backup battery and reactivates itself. While she sleeps, the candles of Santa Muerte are inexplicably extinguished, and El Diablo reappears in her bedroom. However, unlike her nightmares, this time Ava is stabbed and vanishes in a sudden burst of red light. The next day, Ava wakes up refreshed just as Miguel arrives. As she goes to greet him, she attempts to embrace him, but to her shock, she passes right through her husband, who doesn't notice her. In that moment, Ava realizes that she's now part of Diablo's system before glitching away. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.